Stevie, you were hoping three wins, three knockouts in the space of six or seven months. Unfortunately, didn't get the knockout, but still happy with the start. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be positive on the whole... Um, on the performance tonight, I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I know I got the win. I got into that rhythm where I felt like I was winning the fight. I was never in danger. The shots he was landing on me, no disrespect to Lebu, but they, they didn't hurt at all. And I um, just like, yeah, just felt like really light shots. Um, so I got comfortable. I knew I was winning, and I didn't do anything to kind of change it up, make it more exciting. Uh, I come to fight even a few times when he was backing me against the fence. You know, I'm here. I, I get that sort of brawl in me a little bit, and that attitude where I'm just swinging. But um, I'll go back, look at that fight, and probably um, learn from it. Uh, the last fight when I hit Mafra with shots like that, you know, he. Um, I rocked him and, and then went in for the finish, but LeBeau Le took them. He's tough, um, kept coming forward. But yeah, like I said, I just got comfortable and uh, knew I was winning, and, and that was it. So what do you think you could have done differently? Uh, maybe just mixed it up. Maybe I, I, I think because I landed my left hand a few times and I knew it hurt him, um, probably uh, dazed him a little bit. But so I thought. You know, if I, if I land that shot again, he's going to be out. Uh, there's not a lot of people that can sort of take that shot um, my, my left hand or uh, when I hit a heavy shot on someone. So uh, maybe just mixed up more, loosen off and stopped looking for specific heavy shots as much. Um, and I've I probably done some stupid stuff as well, like uh, letting him maybe get... Uh, been da um, dangerous stuff a wee bit, but... Apart from that, I mean, I'll look at the fight and I'll, I'll, I'm going to get better. Did he surprise you at all with anything out there? Um, quite surprised he didn't try and take me down more. Um, I felt like he would probably try and try and take me down. Um, I, I, I believe that he wouldn't be able to um, take me down. He's not from watching his footage. He didn't look like he had good wrestling. So, and I felt like I would be stronger than him. So maybe just the fact that he didn't try and. Um, do that, but I, I was going to say maybe that he was tough, but I knew he was going to be tough. He's never been stopped his whole career apart from a doctor stoppage, so um, yeah. Did you find that pressure out there? Obviously, you're saying he's, he, he's never been stopped in his career by strikes, but you know, for you, with your two UFC starts, two finishes, was there any added pressure that you had to come in here and get, you know, get an emphatic win? Not really. I mean, I felt comfortable after the good fight camp. Um, the last two, I mean. The last one was a nightmare. I had that motorcycle accident um, and I had sciatica uh, pain before coming out. So um, the one before that, I had two weeks notice and I had to lose 30 odd pounds. It was the longest two weeks of my life. So yeah, I actually felt great this camp. I had a good camp at TriStar. Uh, obviously Duffy was over there. He was one of my main train sparring partners because he's sort of the same shape and size as Lebu. And I was one of his because I'm southpaw and he was fighting Poirier. Um So yeah, I mean, over there it was good. I came home, uh, sharpened stuff up with my, my home team and my home coach, James Dillon, and uh, just felt great, you know. He, he made me feel even sharper coming back. And um, yeah, I felt, felt good. What was it like uh, sharing a card with obviously some of your TriStar mates? And what was it like, you know, when you heard the news about Duffy having to pull out? Um, uh, yeah, obviously it was good. Um, it's always good when you've got some other guys on the card. Uh, the the camps a lot more. You're getting great rounds. It's not just specific to you. Um, yeah, I mean there, there was Duffy, uh, Joe, and some other guys uh, at TriStar um, that are obviously really high level as well in the coaching, and it was great. I had a great camp. Um, I, I was surprised, obviously, to hear that Duffy was out. Um, yeah, just I was I was shocked, but you know it's out with Joe's obviously getting a lot of um, hard time about it for the fans saying oh you know it's stupid what you doing that in the week of the fight and it's kind of standard that in a fighters fight camp that you, your last sparring session is roughly a week to ten days out and some it's, you know you're training for a fight these things happen he got injured and um, well he got concussed or whatever and the the doctor said that he wasn't physical to fight. I'm sure if Joe, the guy said to Joe, you want to fight, he would say yeah. So, um, yeah. You've got a, a win in Glasgow now in Dublin. Um, 
London's around the corner. Do you want to get that one under your belt as well? Yeah, I've not really looked. I mean, the, my main focus was on this. Um, that's I've fought three times within six months. Three wins, two stoppages. Uh, I don't. I'm, I mean, I'm not too clued up on the whole UFC sort of stuff, but um, from a fan point of view, but I don't think there's much fighters out there that's got f three wins the way the way that I have within the space of six months. Um, I've been busy. I mean. The Poland, to then straight getting on the Scotland card, to then straight on the Dublin card, and uh, obviously there's what maybe two months between them, um, and a fight camp is roughly two months. So I've literally fought, had a week off, been on fight camp the whole time, had a week off, and then been on fight camp again. So I'm looking forward to uh, going spending some time with my kids, and uh, like I said earlier, like. It breaks my heart when my kids want to play with me and I've not got any energy to go and play with them. Um, so I'm looking forward to going and spending some time with the family. How did the uh, Glasgow crowd compare to this Irish crowd? Eh, uh, was nothing, nothing will ever beat the, the Glasgow crowd. I mean, obviously it's different. For I, I don't know what it's like, the Irish guys walking out there, it's, I'm sure it's phenomenal for them, but that was nowhere near the feeling I got in Glasgow, I just felt phenomenal going out in Glasgow and I'll never ever forget that experience but I was a little bit shocked at how much support I had out there. Um, I mean we're kind of two neutral guys, me and LeBeau, he, he got booed quite a bit from what I heard and then and then I got quite a lot of cheers and I've seen the Scotland flags out there as well so um, yeah it's good and as usual I, I sold roughly about 50 tickets of my personal friends and um, yeah, just got a fan god supporters that always come around. I've got a good fan base and uh, I do that for years and hopefully the next time I can keep getting the, the stoppages. So Rego was a four race champion. It took him four or five wins to get the title contention. If you're a former Cage Royals champion, you've got three wins under your belt. You think a couple more wins and uh, we could talk, we'll be talking about title, title contendership for years off? Uh, title contendership. <laughs> yeah, uh, does Anios, I'm coming for you. Nah, just kidding, but... Uh, well, obviously, I, I am. That that is the main goal. I'm looking to get there. I'm not in a rush. Uh, I'm used to getting belts. Um, I've been all the way from fighting. I've been the SFC champ. It's kind of a, a organisation in Scotland. I was Bama champ, um, which is quite a bigger show. I've been Cage Warriors champion, uh, another sort of local champion. So I've had roughly about four or five belts. Two two fairly big ones: Bama and Cage Warriors. Um, obviously, McGregor had that Cage Warriors belt before me, and and then he vacated it. I took it. I've then came to the UFC, and I've got three wins, and I'm looking to uh, keep getting those wins. I'm in no rush. I'm only 25, so uh, you know I just keep building myself up. Maybe get a, a tougher guy next time. Maybe someone ranked, but there's not anyone out there in particular. I'm just going to go and learn from this fight, and I'm I'm in this for the long run, and. Uh, I see people like, I, I remember saying in an interview once, or they made it out that I wanted to be like McGregor. I don't want to be like McGregor, but who doesn't want to go out there and make millions of money and uh, and get the, the support that he's got? That's I look at Conor McGregor as an inspiration. Um, I've, I've followed a little bit in his footsteps, being obviously through Cage Warriors, and he had a bit of a sort of a rough past where he never had a lot of money and stuff so that inspires me and seeing the stuff that he's got that makes me want to go out there and get that so um, yeah free enough I'm sure I renegotiate my contract now so um, yeah, then I show me the money. <laughs> but, to do, but, to, but to do that, to do what the Rugger's been doing and to get the opinions like you said, do you feel as though you and other fighters in your position need to do more than just what you're doing inside the octagon getting those wins? Do you feel as though you should try maybe, maybe a good personality to show through a little bit more and do more interviews or things of that nature? Yeah, I mean, uh, you could see that. The UFC obviously show certain fighters that little bit more attention. Um, like the people that they can see that they can build on just a few to name McGregor, obviously, Paige Van Zandt, um, Sage Northcott, uh, you know, all those sort of guys, maybe them because their looks maybe, or um, McGregor because the way he talks, and uh, there's a few others, but it, this is an entertainment thing as well, I mean, I think that that does help, going out and doing stuff like that, but I'm not going to go out there and be fake, I'm not really like that. Um, I would like to think of something I could do to make more money, why not, but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, 
I'll just do my job. They, whoever the UFC give me, I'm just going to make sure I get the win. And I'll always be chasing. Um, it's hard not to when when you know you can win 50 grand for knocking someone out. It's hard not to try and go after that. I got my last fight. You kind of get it every time, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep winning and uh, new challenges.